Hi everyone. So in today's session, we are going to see that how we can create a buyer and how a buyer role or responsibility is assigned to any user. So basically, buyer is a person who do who do who do the purchasing activity for a particular business unit in a particular legal entity. So if we think in a chronological order, then that buyer doing some legal transactions within an organization then he shall be an employee so whosoever user we are going to assign as a buyer for an organization we need to check first if that person used that person or user exists as an employee so just go to setup and maintenance go to the global search click on search Click on manage users. Now in manage user, I want this Raj Kumar to be my buyer. So I just need to check if this Raj Kumar exists as a employee or not. So let me search here with this keyword. Nothing is coming, so let me just search with this particular name. Oh, so there, there are a lot of Raj actually. Okay, let me search with So this way it will not come actually okay so uh, but anyway I cannot see any uh, user created with the name Rajkumar in the direct search so let me just click on plus sign and I will make Rajkumar the you so my last name is Kumar my first name is Raj Email is this one. This is my hire date. So, since the user already exists actually, so link user account. So, once I click on link user account, this chain sign will get active. And let me just search for this Raj. Okay so here i can see there are two users so i will select this one rajkumar click on ok now this person type is an employee so it will ask me for the legal entity and the business unit so let me just select the legal entity like uh, us1 legal entity for this employee and then my business unit so let me just select one business unit so let me just take uh, take Argentina for a while but as I have previously mentioned in my previous videos that once it is selected and saved then we will not be able to edit the legal employer but we can edit the business unit so I'm not going to fill in the other details actually so okay let me just click on save and close so now the, my user Raj Kumar is created as an employee uh, here in the manage users in the Oracle Fusion systems. So now once it is created as an employee, so the next thing which I need to do here is that is just uh, before uh, that let me just get it saved and I think it will take some time to get saved. Meanwhile, I will duplicate this tab because okay, so it is still loading. Since it is a vision instance, so there is always there are always the performance issues that we find in the vision instance. So let us wait so till the time it gets uploads.
okay so now uh, th this is done so in this tab i'm going to tools in tools i will go to the security console here in my security console i will now at the user level i will go and i will query this user whether for this user the buyer role is assigned or no not so click on this particular user so here i can see that no buyer role is assigned to this particular user so i will click on edit and now i will click on add role so here i will search for buyer role so here you can see so this is a this is my role actually buyer aura underscore po underscore buyer underscore job so this is my role actually for the buyer so let me just click on done here let me just check this once again because i cannot see if the role is being added or not buyer okay okay and add role membership okay click on done so now this role bar is added to this user so in my uh, in the data access i will provide data access for the argentina business unit because i have created you uh, my employee under us1 us1 legal entity and business unit as argentina business unit so these are the seated business units that comes in the oracle fusion vision instance basically so let me just provide the data access manage data access manage data access for users so here in manage data access for users so let me just click on this plus sign in the plus sign i will select my user raj dot kumar you will see that this will show me my user so now here at role i will select the role basically so the role here is a buyer one second let me just search it and it will show me it is still not showing me the buyer role because i have not saved and closed here so let me just click on done and now let me just cancel this i will click on this plus sign again in the plus sign i will say raj dot kumar okay in the role i will say i will be able to query the buyer now because i have saved and closed that thing but still it is not showing but yeah anyway so click on search it shall get populated now it is coming okay now the security context here is the business unit so business this buying and purchasing activity will always be executed at the business unit level so let me just select argentina business unit here so the save and close this particular thing click on done so now we are done with two tasks for the buyer setup once we checked for the user that whether that user exists as an employee that was not existing uh, existing and we created an employee against it then we checked that whether that user exists uh, as a buyer so whether the buyer role and data access is been given to that user or not so that is been provided now so the next task we need to search is manage procurement agent manage procurement agent so let me just click on search so here we are so manage procurement agents so let me just click on plus sign so i need to assign the user as a procurement agent for that particular business unit okay so my procurement view here is arjun okay let me select the buyer first
oh there are lot of buyers actually so let me just click on this plus sign let me just search the name Raj or let me just search it by the email id ERP okay let me just click on search so here is my user it is showing me here because I have created this user as a buyer so now let me search for this procurement view as well so here I can see that my procurement view is not coming in the search so now what I need to do here is I will go into the task and I will check whether that procurement function is being enabled for my this business unit or not. So I will go to the task that is I will go to the procurement. Here I will check for manage business unit functions. So let me just click on the, this first manage business unit. So um, this is the task I need to explore. So manage business unit. Not, not, not this one. I, I clicked on the wrong one. So let me just be back actually. Okay, let me just search for this business unit once. Arjun, click on search. So here you can see this is my business unit. It is active here actually. Okay, let me just get back. Assign business unit business function. So I will uh, check here basically. So whether, uh, so let me just select and add my business unit, apply and go to task. So the urgent in a business unit is my business unit basically. So I will click on save and close, select it and click on save and close. Okay. So here for this particular business unit, you can see that no specific transactional function is assigned to this. So no business function is assigned to this particular business unit. Okay. So now I will enable only procurement related business functions so payable payment it's a part of a p2p then uh, procurement i will enable it procurement contract management i will enable it project accounting uh, let us leave it actually so th th this will be all actually and uh, the for the primary ledger i will go and i will select us1 primary ledger so let me just select okay i think i shall search it so that will make my task quite easier so us primary ledger so let me just select us1 uh, legal entity and us primary ledger because in the employee hierarchy also i have an, an defined this as a legal entity to this business unit so let me just click on save and close so once i saved and closed it now here I shall be able to search for this Argentina business unit. So now Argentina business unit is available to me. So let me just click on OK. So here you can see that these are the various access basically which are provided to this particular user for this particular business unit. So let me just go through these uh, access. Uh, so manage requisitions. So this particular user can manage, uh, can, uh, can, uh, cannot, if I select as none, then he will not be able to see any of the requisition. If I select as view, he will have the privilege only to view the requisition. And uh, if I select here as full, so uh, means he can 
see the requisition he can edit the requisition as well and similarly manage purchase order so similarly the uh, privileges the three privileges are assigned can be assigned so none view or full so this is how basically uh, i will go through the rest of the doc uh, uh, rest of the privileges available in this particular document so let me just quickly save and close this thing so now here your changes are saved so click on ok so this was the last task i needed to configure to assign a buyer to this particular buyer role to this particular user so close confirm and now i will re-login again with this user So now uh, with the with assigning the buyer role to this particular user, you can see that the uh, this this user now have the access to procurement work area. If I click on procurement work area, it can access purchase agreements and purchase orders. So so friends, this was all with the buyer setup that how we can uh, set up our buyer in the Oracle Fusion system basically. So these are these three are the important task basically which we need to set as a buyer here in the system so that was all thank you have a nice day please like share and subscribe my videos so that i shall come with more such videos which will help you in your oracle fusion career path thank you